Hello, the game is It Thurks Below. Um, the class is Enchanter. So I just wanted to do a quick overview of Enchanter abilities, their gameplay, the, the style of play. I didn't see a lot of videos out there when I was looking. Like, what class do I want to try out first? So, um, the primary ability of an Enchanter, and mine's level 41. Um, so still not max level, but high enough to kind of get the feel for gameplay. I'm sure it changes as you get gear. But I think the main ability for your Enchanter is the Mind of Clarity. Basically what it does is it gives you a chance to not use a charge, or you can call it a bullet for your wand. It's your main offensive ability. It gives you a chance to not use it. I think at high, max rank... It's like 95% chance not to use one. So basically, you'll be able to just fire forever. Like, even even as it stands now, I can, I can go for a pretty good long time just spamming this one while you're running around. I think the game play, that, at least that I'm going for now, that I can kind of see is like a path, is attack speed and crit, and then heal with crit. So you'll be healing yourself while you're running around, blasting mobs, critting and healing. And the reason why you want to go with crit and heal crit, I think, is your um, your passive gives you a 30% chance to hit against targets with mind break. All targets hit with lightning gain mind break. So if you have a lightning gun like I have, you're going to get 30% crit on your lightning gun. And your lightning damage is also increased by 20%. So you're just going to stack lightning. Lightning, lightning, lightning wands, lightning uh, abilities. Everything gives mind break so you're getting 30% crit. You're healing for part of that crit. So you're stacking crit chance, crit damage, heal on crit with attack speed. And you're just going to go around just be like a devastating machine gun is what I think. Um, the other abilities, that's a drop. That's a drop. Nope, that's an ability. So this is the thing spinning around me. Um, it lowers resistance um, to anything around you. And does minor damage kind of like the bard aoe but probably a little less damage um to anything around you has mind break so anything that you hit with lightning or any of your abilities your abilities are uh your two main abilities are a lightning burst which shocks all enemies around you so it's like a basically like the wizard aoe it'll just hit all enemies but that basically throws mind break on everything does a lot of damage has a long cooldown but throws uh, the debuff on everything that allows you to crit. So you're going to use that to debuff them while you're blasting them, and heal, which will heal yourself. And then um, the stun is an important component. So you do that, and it stuns anything in the radius for a good second or two, I think. And it has, I think at max level, it has a relatively low cooldown. I think uh, max rank, it's four or three second cooldown so you could pretty much stun anything non-stop it's just the monsters that are coming in after you stun monsters that are a problem but you'll be just racking them up like this that, that's how i kind of foresee the gameplay for the enchanter uh one of the nice features surface invasion nice one of the nice features is the wisp basically um it doesn't make you invulnerable and actually taking any damage will knock it away but things won't attack you when you have it on it's nice for a travel spell so you can just turn into a wisp and fly up and take care of the guys out here i'll use this opportunity to kind of show you what a little bit of the gameplay is like you just blow those guys away i just i haven't been on i just changed the difficulty level so it's the first time i've even been on this so hopefully i don't get owned but judging how I did there, I think I should be alright. That's the boss dude. You can't stun bosses, so you can't electrocute them. So let's go clear out all the trash. So yeah, like, I'm just like, whatever dude. Limited ammo. Mind break on these guys, they heal me. Let me see if I can get some of that healing going on. Let's see how my health heals up a little bit. Now, I like this gun that I have because it's really nice, but usually what I use is this gun, which has penetration, which goes through them. So when you line monsters up, one shot's going to hit like five or six dudes. You're going to get crits, and you're going to heal. 
So it allows you to just face tag a bunch of dudes at once. Ooh, might go down. It allows you to just kind of face tank them all at once. Um, so what I like to try to do is just run in, freeze them, blast on them, you know, heal up, electrocute them, blast on them, heal up a little bit. Um, still gotta work on my best. My build is nowhere near, you know, nowhere near ideal. I'm just working with uh, whatever I got at this point. So I just kind of started working on gear and started trying to figure out how maybe I might play this uh, class. But I really, overall, I just wanted to show you the different abilities that they had. Let me finish this boss off. I want to show you what's nice about this. One thing I love about the Wisp is when you die, you lose items. And sometimes when you're in a bad situation, so you got 20 mobs in a bit, and you lost your items, you try to go get your items, they're, they're just going to one-shot it. Um, that could be a little problem. Let's see if I can face tank this dude. Yeah, he doesn't have much damage. Yeah, there's some uh, debuffs on them, and I'll just heal myself up. No problem. So I want to show you something that's really nice about this. I kind of got out of place here. So just bear with me a second while I travel back. Ah, still two invaders. I'll get them later. Not try, not flying all over looking for them. So like I said, as a, in a wisp mode, like that monster, oh, just went out of it. Now, now attack. In wisp mode, that they're, they're all they're all passive. I've only found one that will attack you. They passive, and actually, if you oh shoot, okay, so they weren't. I guess that's not a thing. So there's two mobs that I found that will attack you when you're in wisp mode. That might have been because I aggroed them before, I'm not sure. But even when you aggro things previously, they don't usually don't mess with you. But what's nice is you can kind of float up and explore an area. You can throw down torches, light the area up before you battle the area. And, you know, nobody's going to mess with you. The only thing you can't do is mine. You can put ladders down. You can't mine or shoot a gun or you break out of wisp form. And if you take any kind of damage, you'll break out too. So if something does attack you, you'll break out. But what's really nice I found is you can sit here and collect all the treasure chests without even fighting anything. Opening chests don't, uh, don't break the form, which I thought was really neat. So if you don't want to be bothered killing stuff, you don't have to. But in this game, you want to kill the stuff for experience anyway. Just a nice little feature that you can go around and collect the chests, light the area up. Deadly nimble, what's that? Every time you crit, you gain 50% dodge. And five times your rank of critical damage increase. <laughs> that's that's nuts for the build that <laughs> See, I don't even know what exists in this game. Like the build I'm talking about is just in my head where I think the direction of the character design would play out. And this this is going to be OP, because this is going to increase my chance to crit five times my rank, so it's five times 40. That's 200. What? Every time you crit, gain 50% dodge and 40... Oh, critical damage, not percent. Okay. I thought it said percent crit increase. Oh, that would, that would be like, that's just going to be a feedback loop. I'll just crit all the time with that. Alright, so that this is nice though, because your crit damage, so I'll definitely uh, have to work that in here. You can only put so many ancient items in the bar. Anyway, I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of the gameplay of the Enchanter. Um, I think it's pretty pretty cool gameplay. Um, I want to try out the Bard. Actually, there's a lot of cool classes in this game. I want to try out the Bard, the Cleric, the Wizard. Uh, the Necromancer seems cool, also has a similar flying ability to this. I like that the debuff can hit him. See, it's hitting him, but doesn't aggro him. That's nice. This is where I wish I had a wizard. 
because the wizard could just blink right down there where I have to like okay I'm gonna take X out all right so hopefully this video helped you understand how an enchanter plays out what the abilities do and kind of how they work together um, and the play style is going to be more of I think more of a wand uh, wand crit build versus like utilizing your abilities for damage your abilities are going to debuff and stun to prevent damage because you're a squishy caster so it's going to stun to prevent damage while you're dishing out with your wand if you like the video give me a like that way i know you like this kind of content or you like this game so i can know what to focus on all right thanks a lot bye